All right, so a good win. Um, you know, I thought the crowd was awesome today. They were here early. You know, the walk was, you know, phenomenal energy. And, you know, I thought the players fed off of it. And we didn't play great early, um, a little bit sloppy and kind of surprised to be up by 10 and a half, you know, the way we were. But um, really good into the half there, you know, going down and getting a touchdown in two minutes. I think changed a lot and started, you know, played a really good third quarter. So really pleased with our players, um, starting with the defense. I thought those guys, once we settled down early, played great. You know, held these guys to, you know, whatever it was, 70 yards rushing, you know, for a team that ran the ball so well. And last week against Florida, and, you know, I just remind myself that's the same LSU team that beat Florida seven days ago. So um, to not just win, but you know, kind of comfortably win there up 21 in the fourth quarter. Uh, you know, when he started to slow it down is, is pretty neat. And, you know, I don't think we've beat him in five or six years or something. So I hope our fans are pretty excited about that. So that puts us at six and one. Um, you know, so we've got a lot of work to do. We need to get players back healthy on offense. You know, Matt himself is not healthy, as you can see, limping around out there. But, you know, does not have his usual, you know, group of weapons that – he had early on. So, you know, to have all those guys down, receivers, tight ends, and offensive linemen, and still, you know, be able to, to beat LSU like that, you know, is, is, is really neat. I think we'd all take that at the beginning of the year, you know, saying that we were able to beat LSU by a couple touchdowns. Lane, we were in here a couple of weeks ago, and you talked about given up 51 points to a team that was shut out the week before. Now you're giving up 17 to a team that scored 49 the week before. Just over these last two weeks, how have you seen this defense respond and where is the growth coming from in your mind? Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, we got to remind ourselves of things like that. You know, just a few, you know, weeks ago sitting here and, you know, really not stopping Arkansas hardly at all until the two-point play. Um, I think Jake Springer has a lot to do with it. You know, not just as a great player, but feeding off of him like the play he made at Tennessee. I think, you know, he's kind of like mad on offense. The players feed off of him, so that certainly helps. And, you know, we're just we're, we're playing better. And when, when you play a slow down offense like that, you know, your guys can do a better job of pass rush like you saw today than having to play, you know, 80, 90 snaps versus tempo. So... Um, I'm sure they were happy they went from two of the fastest off. They see one of the fastest offenses in the country every day. Then the last two weeks playing, you know, two of the three fastest offenses in the country. So they're probably pretty happy to see someone normal. You talked a lot all week about wanting to see this place full. Was it what you imagined? Was this the atmosphere you envisioned when you took over here? Yeah, it was cool. You know, I, I don't see it the whole game, obviously. But, you know, to, I glanced up, you know, before kickoff and, you know, it was full and, um, you know, seemed like they were, you know, there was a presence on third down. And um, so it, it was awesome to see. And, you know, that's that's how it should be. And, you know, the game was kind of a little bit dead at some points there, you know, just slow moving and stuff. So, but I thought the fans were, were really good today. You and we actually punted on a fourth down too. So I, I think I heard some boos actually. Now they don't like that. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Like, it was like, hey, wait, we're sp the book actually said don't punt. And I'm like, but we they only have seven points. We're stopping them. So I went against it and punted them deep. And our defense got us the ball back three and out. So um, went against analytics and it worked. You mentioned that Matt was beat up, but he, he was still running the ball. He, he caught a pass. How, how would you kind of rate his performance? Uh, he missed a few throws early, you know, as you probably noticed. It, you know, when you can't push off, you know, that's kind of hard to, to play quarterback. And you could see he couldn't move the same, um, you know, and your rhythm's off because he didn't take all the reps like you normally would all week. And, again, you know, his starting group that I said at the beginning of the year were going to be the best three-receiver group in the country, you know, if they stayed healthy and they haven't, so he's down to one out there. So, you know, the guy's a warrior. Guy's awesome, you know. Selfishly for him, well, I mean, it's not really selfishly. I, I wish we had all the pieces around him, you know, because now you're going to get, you know, Heisman that he doesn't have the numbers and all that stuff, and you know, 
you got to watch the game. Yeah, I don't get to sit back there and just wait forever and throw to wide open people. So, I mean, he's awesome, and I don't know where he'd be without him. And another note on him, I mean, he threw for 180 or something like that. And, like, I kind of said afterwards, man, sorry, we didn't do a better job getting guys over. He, he didn't care. He didn't care less about his stats. That, that is rare at any time, but especially this age with kids. Uh, it, how big was that stop when the goal line stand on the fourth down? Because, I mean, if they score there, then it's two-possession game and, and things are changed. But then from that moment on, I mean, you guys dominated from that moment on. What changed after that stop and how big was it? Yeah, it was not a good – this game did not start good. It did not feel good. It didn't feel good offensively. Um, Matt was a little bit off. It, you know, we were struggling with the rush. It didn't feel good defensively. They were running and mixing the passes in, and, and you know, Johnson was playing really good. So I, that stopped. And we had said all week, okay, they're going to come with good energy. They just came off the floor to win and everything. You know, if we could get a lead, maybe the game would go like the Kentucky team went. And so I do think, you know, it went that way in the third quarter once we got the lead. So that was a big stop, huge momentum. And, um, you know, we, we were backed up there and Snoop ran us out, you know, in a couple couple runs, um, which was really good. And those uh, 17 points that you gave up, that was the fewest tied with the Austin P game. But, you know, uh, against an SEC team like that, do you think this is the best that you all have looked on defense all season long? And do you think you can kind of build on what the defense was able to do today? I mean, it's – it's fun to be the head coach, you know, when your defense is playing good. You know, you can slow things down. You can play. You don't have that feeling like you got to score all the time, like we've had at times here. But I, I thought our defense started this way in the Louisville game, shut out at half, and so um, you know, I think we're back to that. And I, like I said, I think Springer makes a, a big difference. And when we can get off the field on third down, like four or twelve today, now now we don't get worn down because we don't have great depth, and so. Um, when we can stay fresh and, and let our two defensive ends rush, we're pretty good. Lane, uh, going back to last season, y'all are now ten and two in your last uh, twelve games. What what do you attribute the ascent of this program to? Yeah, I did not know that stat. That sounds good though. Ten and two. <laughs> That's my agent over there. You can take over for him. Um, I attribute that to to guys, um, you know, playing well. I, you know, attribute that to having Matt Carell. Because let's make no mistake, you know, that guy, that record is not ten and two without him. That's for sure. So, and I just think I'm not sitting here to say buy into what we do. I just think they bought into each other, and you know, they they play really well. And like we told them, they find a way to win. The stars seem to change every week. You're not sure who they're going to be, you know, in each game you know, which is a little bit different. Sometimes, you know, like last year, you know, it's going to be Matt and Elijah, you know, and so um, this is more people stepping up from different different spots, which is great to see. Was it just a matter of time for Jerry and were you just kind of waiting out the injury for him to have the big game today? Or was there something schematically that you saw that kind of allowed him to succeed? Well, I think he opened his stride up. I, I think he had not been doing that. He'd been stopping his feet and to him this week, you know, hey, you're speed back and you're not playing like it. You know, you're not really letting it letting it loose. And we set it right on that run. I mean, the headset, Labby, Kevin Smith, myself, like that's what it's supposed to look like. When you got a speed back, it's supposed to look like that. There's a hole and he's gone. So, um, you know, that's what we were hoping would happen. And, and he seems to be back. And it's at the right time because, you know, without these receivers, you know, these guys had to step up. And that is the cover one every snap today. So that means there's another guy in the box. So they ran really well against another guy in the box. Coach, obviously, uh, Eli Manning Day, what was it like to see, you know, a player like that come through the program, get recognized like that uh, on a game like today where you guys were able to win as well? It, it was awesome to have him on the walk. And, you know, I joked with him. I wore his jersey for the walk. You know, I was like super fan. You know, I like, felt like I was going to a Giants game, you know, like on the bus going to the game. So, um you know, it's it's awesome. I've been around him, but not that much. And just to be around him today and see how humble he is, you know, called him this week to ask him about what jerseys, would you like to pick our jerseys? And he's like, no, man, let the players, I want whatever the players want. So, again, like Matt Carell in a different way, you know, this that's rare. You know, a great player like that, 
um, you know, to be that humble and, you know, just wanting to help others and stuff is awesome to see. So really cool day for him and the end zones were awesome. And, um, you know, we just love the Mannings. Coach, going into the game with Matt kind of banged up, did you talk to the running back room and be like, it's going to be on your guys' shoulder this week? And how would you evaluate the performance today? You know, not exactly. You know, we didn't, you know, but we said, hey, you never know. The stars change every week. You don't, you don't know, especially in college football, but the SEC, you know, you see teams lose that aren't supposed to lose. You see games that you think even as a head coach are going to be high scoring or low scoring or vice versa. You know, um, so you just never know. We tell them all the time, you never know who's going to need to step up and where it's going to come from. And so today you had, hey, we're a little off in the passing game, down receivers. Matt couldn't move very well, so you weren't going to get anything in the running game out of him. Um, you know, so they, they were going to need to step up, and they did. Lane, does it feel like something has clicked with this team over the last two weeks where it feels like more complete performances? It's not just, you know, trying to outscore the other team? Yeah, um, I think sometimes when you have moments in a season where games, let's make no mistakes, the last two games of Florida could have went either way. They're one play at the end of the game away from us losing. So when those go that way, sometimes that just kind of springboards you into having some confidence as players. Like, hey, man, we're pretty good. So we tell them all week, hey, you know, good is the enemy of great, and that's where we are. Like, we're good, but then we don't close people out at the end of the games. We're not great. And, um, you know, we weren't great today either and told him that. So the good thing is we're close. And if we could get healthy and play the way we know how to play, we could be a really special team. I just hope we get healthy before there are any games left.